These videos are going viral for talking about how expensive and hard it is to date Asian women nowadays. Is it true or not? Let's talk about it. Let's run the clips. You never say anything about Asian girls. There's, there's not a lot to say, you know. I, I can't afford them. <laughs> what does that mean? For real. Like, every Asian girl that, like, I try to holler at, mm. they, they always made me feel like I was applying for a loan. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, what's your credit score? Uh -huh. How much is your daily income? Yeah. <laughs> see your bank statements? <laughs> what's your last three jobs? <laughs> it's easier to get a house than an Asian chick. <laughs> I've never qualified for Asian... Asian booty. You have been denied. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, so there you have it. The first one that went viral was from the Afro Noodles podcast. The Cambodian co-host basically said, you know, all the Asian women that I've been trying to talk to in the past, man, I just didn't pass the credit check. I didn't have enough bread. Yeah, so apparently these Asian women that he was hollering at are really pressing him about his schooling, probably his finances. You know, they joke about how hard it is to get a loan. Obviously, it's a joke, but a lot of guys are chiming in and agreeing with this, and we're going to talk about why. But, David, my big question is, what type of Asian girls were you hollering at exactly? Right, right, right. The general sentiment in the comments section was, hey, hey man, I know Asian girls are expensive. Are any of them on sale? Uh, the ghetto ones are chill. Maybe you need to downsize or step it up is a comment from an Asian girl. Right. And, you know, obviously, listen, guys, we're an Asian channel. We talk about Asian stuff. We know there's different types of Asian women. So which one is he talking about? Is he talking about this girl who's in finance? This girl who might be a bottle girl? This girl who went to, like, MIT? This girl who's, like, in street? Where like what type of Asian woman are you hollering at? Because not all Asian women think the same. I'm thinking he was thinking about bottle girls. Just judging by his look, he's kind of tall, like cool looking. I'm thinking he wanted baddies. Right, right, right. All right. So what's the second video? Um, yeah, this is just an Asian girl being interviewed on the street about prenuptial agreements. Would you ever sign a prenup? Uh, yeah. You would. I absolutely would. I don't think I could do it without. I want to be able to decide where my assets go if we divorce. What if he was a multimillionaire? In that case, yeah. no. What? If it's to my advantage, then yes, absolutely, a prenup. So if he was richer than you, then you wouldn't sign it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Boom, I guess, Andrew, did it confirm Afro Noodles viral video? Oh man, I mean, I, get, I give this lady credit for being honest. I guess, you know. And, and you're saying that she's keeping it real, whereas sometimes when people are interviewed on the street, they give different answers than what they really feel. Yeah, I also don't think this girl is married or anything because I don't think she's really thought this through, at least the way she was answering. But yeah, hey, I'm pro prenup. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a hard conversation to have with someone, but, but I'm yeah, pro the prenup. Obviously, Men if women. you are marrying somebody that has... Uh, ultra wealth, whether it's old money or earned money, typically you would want to avoid the prenup, right? right. I, I, and, and she does say that honestly. She's like, well, which one ever bet is better for me financially? And that's an honest answer whether or not you like it or not. Right, right. But you shouldn't marry someone just in hopes that you're going to get half of what he had just in case you get divorced. She felt more like a banker Asian girl who mm, worked in private equity. Okay. She looked, that's what I put her archetype as. She was, right. I like it though. Um, she, it's some of the comments said typical Asian married to a white man, proof that there's women who are hypergamous by nature. Uh, others probably said, hey, man, it's a very utilitarian answer, but at least she kept it super real. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're her future husband watching that, then you just want to have a conversation with her. That's all. Right, right, right. <laughs> by the way, guys, check out Smala Sauce at SmalaSauce.com, but also available on Amazon.com right now. Guys, it is available on Amazon, and it's for a really good price. Check it out. Leave us a, a, a review and some feedback. And real quick, before we get into the comment section, do you agree, disagree? What do you think? Because... Obviously, all the internet comments were a lot from non-Asian guys on both these videos because obviously Afro Noodles has a non-Asian watching fan base as well as this other YouTuber who interviewed the second girl. Okay, David, I have to be honest. You know, I've done some stand-up comedy in my time. And I actually made a joke about this, how some Asian women were getting, dating Asian women was getting stressful because they needed like a good, nice restaurant and stuff like that you mean in Resi's. New York City. Yeah, it makes sense. I'll play the clip at the end of the video. It's not important. Uh, but anyways... Uh, so obviously there is some truth to it enough for this to be a joke. We all know this does not apply to all Asian women and there are plenty of Asian women out there who do not uh, care as much about your finances. But I do think Asian women are generally raised in a way to need 
and examine and see and view people if they're stable. I think, and stability comes, and within stability, there is financial stability. I think that's, I think that's more of what it is. And yeah, they're Asian not going to take a chance on a guy who's got like a up and coming music career unless he's already like made it. For yeah. example, like they're not going to be just investing in somebody's pipe dreams that have a low probability of being successful. That's what I guess, but that's all Asians. That's Asian culture. Yeah, it's Asian culture, and also especially women who are of who have immigrant parents who worked hard, come from a humble background, of course they're going to want to see that their mate, their husband, their partner for life is also financially stable. It doesn't mean you got to be right. rich, but your body, they like, Asians like people who work. I actually think that every group of women has a, a percentage that uh, of their population that may more think this way, you know, with the credit check your boyfriend or credit check the guy you're dating, but Asian women may just have a higher rate than other groups. Yeah, yeah, and I think it does fit along with the stereotype of, oh, Asians are rich, Asians are upward mobile, all these things that obviously have some shred of truth to them, but is not true for every Asian. Right, right, right. I think Persian women, Armenian women may have a reputation for also thinking the same way, right? Oh, yeah, I mean- Jewish uh, women, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah a I lot mean, of wealth-centric ancient civilizations, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Point number one, they said, who else can pull this style off? Because as uh, uh, African-American girl said, maybe we should take a lesson from our Asian sisters. And then other people were saying, would this work for non-Asian women to be like as a uh, credit check style as Asian women? Well, see, here's the thing. Now, obviously we know quite a few of Asian women do end up with non-Asian guys, particularly white guys, right? That's the trope. But- a lot of Asian women actually still mostly marry Asian guys. So, and Asian guys also have usually just across the board, generally higher education and uh, uh, higher income on average, right? So I guess if that's their pool that they're used to, that's their reference point, then, then you know, that's what our community values. Right, right, right. Well, the truth is obviously the easiest way to get to like an upper middle class status in America is through corporate career paths. Yes. That is the most stable way. Um, this other guy, he's a musician. He said, I can't wait to be so financially comfortable I can get with East Asian women. And this guy <laughs> was black. And I was saying, yeah, if he makes it as a producer or a DJ, yeah. But people just want to, I would just say Asian culture, they want to see people make it. Right. And then this girl comes in who's what, probably Chinese, who says, ha, if we own a million apartments for ourselves. What's wrong with finding a qualified man? Basically saying, if you happen to come, if the lady comes from a well-off Asian family who owns lots of property, what's wrong with desiring a man who is also qualified financially? That's right, right, right. Like if their family is very asset building minded, why wouldn't they want somebody who's also really good or like comes from a family that's really good at building assets? Right, right? and that's thinking about relationships and marriage is very practically... But that's also, you know, like- a I, Asia is hyper-practical. Yeah, I feel like some people, here's my thing. I think some men out there and some people out there, they imagine like, hey, how come Asians, it doesn't seem like they marry for love as much. Where's the love? Where's the passion? How come they always thinking about finances when they could right. just be marrying for love? But then it's like, Asians are like, uh, yeah, but you know, you have to look at the divorce rate. So right. divorce rate of Asian is a little bit lower. Yeah. I think, I think that's why. Asians are more like, yeah, you have to look at the technical equation, watch work gearbox behind the marriage working. That is also equally as important as a momentary feeling of like passion or lust. Right. Uh, point number two, somebody said, why chase East Asians, bro? Come back to the jungle. <laughs> Not my words, by the way. He said, are you chasing East Asians? Come back to Brown Town. He needs to go after jungle Asians more than anime Asians, just like what Ali Wong said. Somebody said, it's true. They're super want rich guys, especially Japanese girls. Just try to raise your, keep trying to raise your status, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, this guy who's a Cuban plumber said, typical Asian women. Mm. Yeah, I mean, dude, people raised in different situations like are gonna think different right but yeah i think asian culture in general but yeah for sure if you're raised like with different parents or parents that are at least uh less i guess like confucian thinking uh -huh. then you might think about 
this stylistic like think this way less mindset. dude i actually think it's funny that people see now now they're getting a little bit more specific of the type of asian girl they're talking about they're saying hey east asians the anime asians hey man come back to the the southeast asians you know they're they're more humble they they probably are not going to be pressing you about your job and degrees and your credit score first of all i've never heard of a girl asking another man their actual credit score i don't know if that's hap that's probably happened in life but i I don't know. Maybe people like have you, I've never heard of that. I've never been asked that, but I've been asked I about also, the job. We may present as people who I don't know. That yeah, you people don't might have assume that, that I have good worry, credit. Yeah. I, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, point number three. I can confirm this through personal experience, Andrew. So many people coming through saying, "I hate the accuracy of this," but I'm a black guy married to an Asian woman. She still pulls my credit checks here and there. Uh, obviously, who knows if he means literally or metaphorically? Hey, she's keeping you in check, bro. I'm just saying. Hey, the she, rent hey, is due every day. The hey, rent's due every day. You guys are in a relationship. She's partnering with you for the rest of her life, and you guys got kids and a family. Family, of course she's going to care about your credit score. This black woman said, this is funny. I've dated Asian men like this. They aren't initially like that, but I noticed they are quicker to discuss finances and goals than other men that I've dated. Yeah. So it goes to show you that it's not just an Asian woman. It's an Asian culture thing. It's an Asian thing, kind of. Right, right, right. Other people joking. Hey, just like any other job application, you must act white to secure the deal. That's This comment made me laugh, man. And... Uh, I'm not saying it's actually true, but in America, what is, first of all, what is considered acting white is acting corporate safe. Like Ter Terrence Howard, I believe was either is or was married to an Asian woman because he got the thing from the ring from Ben Baller. But Terrence Howard sometimes is considered a white acting black actor, right? Yeah, or, or whatever. Yeah, you know, I, and I'm just saying like, basically it's funny because they're talking about applying uh, to get a loan is easier than dating an Asian girl, right? In the first clip, but then this guy's like saying you gotta have to act white, just like you're on a doing a phone interview with somebody, you know? Uh, for hey, yeah, I right. love that. You know, I'm available on weekends. Whatever it really takes to accomplish yeah, the mission. My strengths objective. and weaknesses, man. You know, <laughs> my weakness is I'm a perfectionist. Um, and I think it's, but to me, it's corporate culture in America is defined by like a waspy white guy. Yeah, yeah, right, and that's right. just what it is right now. I think it's changing slowly, but to be honest, I don't know if that's changing fully because that's going to always be like the way you have to act if you want to make those type of deals and make that type of money. Fortune 500, Fortune 100, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody said, what's wrong with having standards? Our parents drilled it into our heads. How can you blame them? We were raised right, high standards, bro. A Puerto Rican girl came in and said, please drill this into my head. And uh, basically indicating that she was saying that she was like maybe liking broke bad boys her whole life. So she was like, please drill it into my head if you guys had it drilled into your head. And this is the whole point about like culture. Like th it's difficult to give people firmware updates because we're not like Neo in the Matrix where you can just download Kung Fu. In real life, you have to study Kung Fu for like 20, 30 years to be good at it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, point number four, they said, yeah, but how come it seems like Asian girls make exceptions for mid-looking white guys though? Like saying that <laughs> mid-looking white guys... Uh, I and then think... of course people were talking about it this guy said they'll take anything white this guy said as a low mid white guy I agree it's a glitch in the matrix for sure and then he posted himself he posted himself with a bunch of like kind of hot Asian girls yeah I think maybe he's in Asia at the time or something I don't know I, I mean I definitely think that yeah mid looking white guys they were definitely doing really well in the past decade I think the the lead is 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 shrinking I think everything's getting a little bit more level playing field but Still possible, but it also is, I guess, likely that if a white guy has been in America for let's just say ten generations, like a lot of white people have, that he also probably does have some family assets, mm -hmm. like that he's just like born into. Yeah, I mean, I, like above race, I think maybe above race, I think that, for example, women are oftentimes attracted to lifestyle. So if you just have more connections, a more no. full holistic lifestyle, you got a boat to go on or there's like a family cabin to go mm. to and, and you guys are social and you have a lot of friends and, and maybe most people that I'm describing right now are white guys in America, then that is the most appealing life for yeah. a lot of I, women. I would say, yeah, like a almost a like autopilot fun life. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. think that the reason why, and also if you look at like Chinese sayings, like, it means that tall, white, 
with like a sharp nose. A lot of white guys have are like tall and white. And sharp. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying some of the Chinese sayings about like what to look for in a man. It's crazy because they like link up with some tall, skinny white guys like this guy, even though he's not considered that good looking on a white scale. Right. You mean they're talking about that Chinese saying is obviously from China speaking about even a good looking Chinese man, which is, bai, yeah. Yeah, gao fu, which is tall, uh, good looking and uh, but usually big beads is a sharp, sharp, yes, big nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just weird how it linked up like that. Also, I do think when you're born in a generational wealth, you deploy it in a more fun way than even an Asian with similar money, but had to like work their tail off to get it. They could be a lot tighter with it because they knew what it took to get there. And it's not like real estate money or, you know, whatever head uh, trust fund money. Point number five, Andrew, somebody said it's not all Asian women, just a lot of them. <laughs> so, so this is a, someone said you got a type that you can't afford not all asian chicks are like that he likes a type of asian man you probably only hitting on them high-end luxury asian man someone said quit looking for the asian baddies this 10 out of 10 uh man loves his abgs those are ones from irvine long beach and oakland don't have those requirements that's funny that's funny to go by uh geography that is well the truth is andrew in every population there is a distribution. And I would say this, the baddies of any group, yeah, you gotta be willing to pay the price for a baddie if you want a baddie. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, why is this so, like, ta I don't know. Is it shocking? It's not shocking to people. Or is it just confirm what people had a feeling is that they think Asian women are the most high-priced women, like, to date? You know what I mean? Like, is that even, is that what people are trying to say? Man, I think that this is what they're trying to say. They're saying that America for a long time has kind of had this blue collar downward assimilation sort of like aspect to it. You know how like George Bush Jr. tried to act like he was a folksy Texas yeah. hillbilly? It's kind of cool. he was from the Illuminati. It's cool to act blue collar in America. Yeah, and he's saying, how come Asian women seem like they more uphold some sort of like European like or feudalistic love of aristocracy. That is what I think that a lot of the minority men, especially, you know, are more commenting on. Because obviously in America, the only people who are gonna fit that for like an East Asian girl is either a super tall, rich East Asian guy or a old money, rich white guy. Yeah. And not as much their archetypes, obviously not for sure 0%, mm. but just a lower probability. So I think that that's what they're referring to. But it's almost like, yeah, it is true that we, East Asian culture is going to adapt to that blue collar loving aspect of America less than other groups. Yeah. Also, I mean, I do think a lot of the comments are from men who at some point have been rejected or feel like a good looking Asian woman is out of reach. And oftentimes guys, they just want to go on the internet and roast somebody. And right, oftentimes right. it is women. But, you know but, what I mean? but the like, truth is there, there, you can find any type of girl in any population. If you look, it's just not like maybe the main bulk distribution. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultimately, also I got I got an interesting comment, Andrew. Is everybody just referring to hot people when they make these statements? I've been reading some arguments on the internet lately saying that all these things like whatever podcast, every podcast, it's not wrong, but it's skewing the entire population's perception because what they're saying is right, but only right about like the most hot, shallow party people of every group. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I do agree that when people are saying, yo, Asian women are overpriced or like this and that, they're essentially referring to these, uh, the very, very desirable ones that I guess that are typically conventionally desirable. 100K on everybody. IG. Yeah. You're talking about like an Asian influencer girl or a bottle girl, an ABG, which is the type that you like. Maybe that's the type you're attracted to. I mean- is this comedian guy, is this Cambodian comedian dude like talking about uh, uh, an Ivy League girl? I mean, maybe she does care about money, but is he even talking about a UCLA? I, like, I don't even think he would hit on a, the, the girl. Yeah, that's maybe he's Harvard. talking about an ABG. You know what I mean? And yeah, maybe some ABGs. They like fast cars. They want to be bought things. Yeah, that's, I don't know if they're asking your credit score, but they're probably going to ask like, you know, if you can take where, them out where, to a nice where, thing. We, where are we going to eat? Yeah, where are we going on a trip? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yes. Uh... Yeah, obviously, guys, you know, Asian culture, we are taught. And you could say it's the right way to be raised, too. Right, it's like, very pragmatic. Like, you could make an argument that although there's a bunch of kind of bitter guys in the comments, that Asian women being raised in a way to, to rank a man's financial stability is the right way to think when it comes to marriage. Right? Yeah, I mean, listen, guys. 
I don't know, man. It's very, very interesting in these comment sections to see a lot of non Asian guys commenting on Asian women. It's always fascinating. Yeah. Also, non Asian guys like commenting on Asian women because I feel like low key, a lot of non Asian guys, they feel some entitlement over Asian women or like they feel like that, ah, uh, you know, Asian women should like me more. So I, I got to think about them and comment on them and stuff like that. Because like, Asian yeah. women are kind of desired on the internet. You know what I mean? To the internet crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. To the internet crowd that's sort of like really into animes and other anime. Yeah, I'll just say you know this. I mean. Everybody got an opinion on Asian women, whether you think Asian women are overrated, Asian women are only like white guys, Asian women are too fancy, Asian women uh, are too easy or whatever. Like Everybody's got an opinion on Asian women. Everybody's got an opinion except on Asian guys. Yeah, not as many people got opinion on Asian guys. Uh, anyways, you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, is dating Asian women getting too expensive? And if you say so, you got to say what type of Asian woman, but I'm going to run my uh, comedy clip afterwards, and you guys are going to be able to tell what type of Asian woman I'm talking about in this comedy clip. All right, you guys, until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. I'll be going out with a white girl. And, and every time I say that, everyone's so silent. When I tell people that, they're like, Andrew, don't you know, it's 2023, and white people are canceled. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure if you like Asian guys, we'll give you the pass, Karen. But anyways, uh, dating a white woman is not as stressful as dating uh, an Asian woman has been. To take an Asian woman out to, I gotta think of like the newest, coolest Asian restaurant on Eater. I gotta think about like, does it need a resi? Am I gonna make that time? It, does the chef have a full sleeve tattoo and is serving childhood dishes with French techniques? <laughs> Oh, that's my gut. But you know, you take out Megan from Connecticut. She just said, Andrew, can you take me to a very authentic Asian experience? Like, Lucky me. Because the most authentic Asian experience is these dollar pork and cabbage dumplings on this wobbly stool. Yeah. Megan's just sitting on the wobbly stool. I feel like Anthony Bourdain right now.